Welcome, friends, to another installment of A Word of Hope. I'm Father Andrew Carl Wisdom, Vicar for Mission Advancement here at the province of St. Albert the Great. You know, as I reflected upon these readings for this Tuesday of the second week in Ordinary Time, I do so against the backdrop of our having just celebrated the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., and a poignant phrase of his keeps reverberating in my mind. The fierce urgency of now. The fierce urgency of now. It strikes me that that's what we find in our scripture passages today. Our Lord, who was very clear about being a God of the present, a God on the move, and he wants us to get on the move with him. In particular, we see Samuel today, uh, our Lord telling him to stop grieving the past. Saul's been rejected as king. Now you need to move on to Jesse and his eight sons. And among them, the next king of Israel will be chosen. So Samuel, our Lord says, fill that horn of oil. Get on the move. I'm sending you to help someone discover their calling, to help someone discover God's will for their life. A piece of advice for the journey. Not as man sees does God see, because he sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. As human beings, we can stay on the surface and look at the appearance of things. Our Lord always looks into the heart. That's good advice for us to take on our journey. It's part of the problem of the Pharisees today in the Gospel of Mark. As they challenge Jesus on why his disciples are eating from the grain of field, the field of grain, on the Sabbath. They shouldn't be doing anything, picking any grain and eating it. But Jesus makes the point, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. His point is, rules and regulations may be there, but looking beyond the surface of the rules and re regulations of the Sabbath, what are they there to protect? A relationship, which is what the heart of things are always about as far as God is concerned. The relationship. For you and I, the challenge in this new year is not to be stuck in the past like Samuel or not like the Pharisees, to remain on the surface, but to look at the heart of things, to look beyond appearance and recognize God is in the now, asking you and I to be in the now with him, working and actively loving right alongside him. God bless you and Happy New Year.